What's poppin' ladies and gentlemen, Dark Side here and I'm back with a very special video because I'm going to be doing a reaction to the newly released Ringside Report number one with WWE 2K22. And for me personally, I'm pretty excited to watch this because I'm someone who hasn't played a lot of the 2K WWE games uh, frequently. Uh, the one I played the most was probably 2K14. This is the last one I played a lot. I haven't played a lot of them. I played a lot of the oldest SmackDown vs. Raw WWE games. Also, Here Comes the Pain is some of the older ones. But I have not played a lot of the 2K series of games just because I didn't like the feel of them and how they played. But I've seen some promising things from WWE 2K22. And uh, this is something I've been waiting for for a while. I've been hoping for some actual gameplay to see. Because we've gotten some good snippets and everything I've seen so far as far as GM mode coming back and things of that nature. Everything looks pretty promising, so I'm hoping they can deliver with some gameplay. And they seem pretty confident that if they're doing something like this, so I think they're pretty confident in their product this year. And hopefully it's miles ahead of 2K20, which I didn't even buy pretty much because of the disaster that was. But with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into the reaction. And let's see what we got. Let's go ahead and hit play and let's get started. And also before I play, I missed too much talking. I really just want to react to the gameplay portion of the trailer. So or of the uh, deep dive. So if there's some talking, I'll probably just skip that for now and maybe make a video on that later. But for now, I'm going to try to get to the, straight to the gameplay. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Lionel Jinx. I am the creative director of the WWE 2K franchise. And this time, I'm not alone, y'all. I've got my homie with me. She is going to be with me along this journey, this ride. Christina, please introduce Let me just say real quick. Lionel and Christina have been great in every interview I've seen them in so far. They really seem to care about the game and trying to patch up some of the miscues they've had in the past. So just give them their props because they've done a great job so far in everything I've seen them in. But I will be skipping this uh, early section while they while they talk about this because I want to get to gameplay. I'll go back and watch some of this later. All right, here we go. So hopefully this is a full, we're supposed to have a full match. Looks like we have Rey Mysterio versus Damian Priest? Yep. One of the things we very intentionally called look. out to our fan base is that we have yeah, this a looks incredible. gameplay experience. And Something so I'm really Jason, liking is uh, you talk about the camera that angle. And how I like like the center, center camera angle, like looking uh, like almost through the ropes. I actually like that. I like that. Because typically you're looking like almost inside of the ring. But I like this camera angle a lot. Basically. I wasn't sure about it at first, but I like this camera kind of angle a lot. How they align with each other during attacks has been completely overhauled and redone. Players are going to notice nice. a significant difference the moment they pick up the controller. Characters are way more responsive Sick. than they've ever been. You no longer feel like you're fighting to control your character. Gameplay looks then, smooth so far. Do what you want them to looks do. smooth. Strikes, dives, springboards. That's done. And that's so the opponent can be stunned. Really okay. And took the heart and tried to nice. This year. Oh, he's like blocking. Another key change okay. That we've made. So you can actually block. Nice. Uh, while the series has always had habit to some degree, it's primarily used for only pair and block simulation. Uh, for oh, I like that. Hitting the ropes like that. I like that. Into gameplay, which has allowed us to introduce. Nice. I like that zoom in camera uh, angle. The frame. I like that. That's clean. They break more dynamically. Ooh. Uh, the cherry. Button is that button mash? Um, and even elements within the environment. Button mash is back. Now, dynamically breaking, such as like the corner barricade, instead of relying on a canned sequence animation. It's a really big change and has helped to make the, the entire gameplay screen feel more dynamic. Awesome. Nice. Derek, we'll kind of messed up there a little bit, but it looks small so things. We, when we sat down to figure out how we were going to change gameplay for 2K22, one of the biggest things that we, we put as a priority was making sure the game is, is fun in a pick up and play kind of way. I want to be able to handle okay, how much talking is here. I right, like this one. WWE, and I want them to still be able to have a good time and be able to just kind of hop in with me. So we made sure that with our controls redesign, all of the core actions are something you can discover just by button mashing. You should be able to basically play through a match without having known anything beforehand. But another... Okay, good, in this, good distinction here. I like that aspect what he just said. If you don't know anything about the game, you should be able to be able to play uh, just by button mashing. Which some people don't like, but I think that's perfectly fine as long as there's a skill gap for those who know how to play. Which I'm from what I'm hearing from what he's saying so far is... If you don't know the game, you can still play and enjoy it because you'll be able to button mash and still have some success. But for the people who actually know how to play the game, 
there's also that deeper aspect to it, which is really nice. Priority for us with that is making sure we're not, you know, smoothing over a lot of the details that returning fans like. So all of the high level of control that you expect to have in a character, all of the high degree of customization you expect, all of that still remains. Nice. Okay, That's so sick. You mentioned That's new sick. controls and mechanics. Um, combat itself is centered around three inputs: light attacks, heavy attacks, and grapples. So, in this okay. cycle specifically, what do those terms mean? So, light attacks; those are your quick strikes, the fastest attacks mm -hmm. in the game. Heavy attacks; those are kind of like strong strikes from previous years. They're bigger, slower strikes, but they deal more damage. And then finally, grapples; those are where some of the bigger changes come into play. So, you press the grapple button once to lock up with your opponent. Oh, okay. Then from there, you can press light. You can Heavy, uh, it gives you a different sequence of, so I'm assuming to do certain moves you have to do it in quick succession, hit the buttons in quick succession. Okay, and I want to toss this over to Jonathan too, so opening up these possibilities, can you talk about some of the combo options that players I want to hit the combos, I want to go back here and I'll take a look real quick. So there's a dodge a block and a reversal that's very interesting so they're giving you more defensive options that's really interesting i like that i like that a lot actually that's nice that's nice i'm gonna toss this over to jonathan too so opening up these possibilities can you talk about some of the combo and once again i have not played a lot of the 2k series of wwe games so if there's something i mentioned that might have been in the previous game just feel free to let me know in the comments down below don't kill me for it options that players can dive into yeah, sure. I love how uh, simple and engaging the new dynamic combo system feels. I don't need to memorize every superstar's move set, but instead I practice the timing of my inputs in order to execute combos. Light mm -hmm. attacks allow me to branch into a combo, and when I learn that light, light, heavy grab executes that move, I can take that and apply it to anybody I play with. I love the exploration okay. that our game provides to encourage the user to play with many different superstars and then choose whichever one is better suited for them. And if you don't like the combos that we assign, we also support customizing combos. I'm personally really excited to see what cool custom combos. Oh, you can create your own combos. Oh, this animation is sick. Can you like walk into the corner and do that? That animation is sick. I like that. It's a long animation. And play. And I want to call this out mainly because I myself am a much newer player to WWE 2K. But look at the so model, though. The Damien Priest's model is insane. All the models easier. in this game are just the crazy. Are super easy the gameplay looks smooth and so far. I haven't really seen anything. The ref counts a little slow, I'm noticing. Besides that, I really haven't seen anything where I'm like, it's taking me out of the experience. And intentional about how Looking I'm very promising right now. Game, especially when it comes to the timing of things like reversals or finishers. Mm. So I can definitely attest to, hey, Ooh, if you're that's clean. by this, that's please clean. don't pick it up, try it out. You'll have such a blast. But also, if you're a vet and you've been playing this for a long, long mm. time, uh, can y'all talk about how vets can better show off their moves and what that means for the overall strategy? Okay. Yeah, let's talk about experience. that. Let's talk about that. So a lot of the strategy for our game comes with the new defensive options that we've added this year. So one of the biggest examples is breakers. Uh, instead of reversals being the only opponent's attacks, uh, grapples and combos actually don't use reversals. Instead, you counter them with a breaker. So when you're doing a grapple or a combo on your opponent, they can counter that attack by pressing the same light, heavy, or grapple input against you. So those moves are countered with breakers. Everything else is countered with a reversal. Hmm. So knowing what kind of attack you expect your opponent to perform can already prime you to know how you want to counter it. Okay, so I'm assuming they did it this way. So you can't just spam the reversal. It's going to take some some mind games that you're going to have to kind of realize your opponent's pattern and kind of figure out what you think they might go for. Yeah, that's the kind of aspect they're going for, which I do like. I do like that as well. So there's already a mind game with that level. Okay, like you said, mind game. Okay, okay. Blocking, which is all new. Uh, if you hold down the reversal button, you enter a blocking stance, and that lets you withstand light, heavy, and running attacks. Uh, and then you can okay, so by withstand, I think he means there's going to be some bleed through. Uh, I would you can assume. Also dodge with the right bumper, so you can kind of and choose the dodge, direction. Yeah, that's interesting. If you time your dodge correctly, but it's high that's risk really block. That's really interesting. And then when you're on the ground, you also can button mash to get up faster, or you can press right there it is. to do a quick there it is. Uh, at the cost of some resource. So when you button have all mashing those is back. available to you, it makes when you're on defense, it's a lot more strategic, but also when you're on offense, you have to be careful with how you want to attack your opponent. This looks amazing so far, really. 
This really does look like freaking amazing so far. I'm highly impressed. Like what, you know, these little glowing meters mean and all this stuff. Jonathan, I'm gonna let you be the first to break this down. Jesus, look at that, bro. And let's dive into the HUD and give the community some clarity here. Uh, so our goal was to create a HUD that strips down all unnecessary aspects and simply gives the user the information that they need without distracting. Thank you, thank you, clean HUD. Always so a very top, you'll have the vitality meter, and this is basically your health. Below okay. that, you'll find a special meter, which is a resource you spend to perform signatures, paybacks, or defensive action. Finally, at the bottom mm -hmm. is your finisher meter, where you can store up to three stocks. So there's Look. one thing that, that's missing that I think a lot of people are like, where, where, where's the reverse stop? Mm -hmm. Can you talk a, a little bit more about like, you know, the changes we made there? Yeah, sure. Yeah, obviously the biggest change uh, that we made was the removing the reversal stock from the HUD. We Thank felt that you. 2K20's matches came down to how the users manage their reversal stock. We wanted to bring a bit more... Well, can okay, you see that one more time? Uh, that was beautiful. The removing the reversal stock beautiful, the babe. We felt that 2K20's matches came down to ah. how the users managed their Nice. We wanted to bring a bit more skill to a match by giving the users unlimited. Resources. Yeah, I'm noticing the, the ref counts a little slow, but maybe that's just because it gives you a chance to button match fast enough. But I'd like to see maybe the ref speed, uh, the pin speed increases a tiny bit. It's a tad slow. And in addition to that, um, we added a Sick. Sick. Oh, the gameplay looks nice and smooth right now, man. I'm really, I'm really happy for this. I'm really happy with what I'm seeing. All of the new additions and our streamlined approach. Cool. Like one of the things that you know, at the end of the match, where I'm like, you know, in previous years or you know iterations, once you, you could, you, you basically knew once the, your opponent didn't have any reversal stock, all you had to do was hit your Sega finisher, match was over. That's not yep, I've heard about that issue. Right? Like someone can just pull out like a reversal and there's this back and forth. Um, and so Derek, you talk as far about as well, like, we can also talk about the pacing of the match from what I've seen of the other 2K games that's being compared to. The pacing seems much yeah, faster so in uh, this game. You have a quick pace. Right, like they could always pull a reversal out. Uh, or that's something they've talked about in previous uh, interviews you can kind of control the pace of the the, meter, the match which i really like earlier, that's one of your biggest tools for making sure that you can pull off your biggest move without getting countered so lighter attacks while they don't do as much making sure they go back on the breaker but the stun meter that jonathan mentioned earlier that's one of your biggest tools for making sure that you can pull off your biggest move without getting countered so okay. lighter attacks while they don't do as much damage to the vitality of the opponent they're better at filling your opponent's stun and if you can get their stun meter filled that's your opportunity to perform an attack without the risk of getting a reversal or a breaker oh okay that, okay that, like, i, I like that i like that see they've really you could tell they really went to work this year they've really been in the lab they've been in the lab yeah like i gotta they've been in the lab for this game you can tell you can tell they've been in the lab Yeah, the pin is like, it's, it's like, ah, 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 ah. Yeah, it's like on, hesitation. We're out of time. So to close out, Besides that, that's really the only thing I've seen I haven't liked. Production, not really haven't liked, but to, like small grade. Game, whether for your own experience or with players specifically. So let's start with Jason, then Derek, then Jonathan. I'm really looking forward to seeing how my ride turns out. Uh, we've been working so hard on gameplay that I haven't really been able to look at the rest of the game. Uh, those guys have been really 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 working to deliver an awesome awesome story this year and um from everything i've seen uh, they're ready to deliver you two get in the ring hbk it's the backstage <laughs> uh, completely redesigned backstage i think people have only seen a, a small peek of uh there's a cool. lot of really cool stuff going back there especially with the verticality and for nice me, it's this game looks fun excited to see Ray Mysterio in our showcase mode. Showcase mode. Hold on. Oh. WWE I think people are going to be really excited. Yo, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ray Mysterio in our showcase mode. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, y'all leveled up. Okay, they really they really been in the lab. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Like, can we get a good look at Eddie? Oh, look at this, bro. This is insane. But look at Eddie. Bro, this is insane. Okay. Okay. 
look at the transition. Well, again, you know, y'all did you yourself for that one. You all did yourself for that one. Ringside report ever. That was insane. Like, we'll take it back. We'll take it back. All right. So you got any more pieces of gameplay? Well, I know. Come on, so we only got like two minutes. We'll just write this out. Everything, right? Like, you know. Uh, I, I've been fortunate enough to like have my hand in the, you know every single cookie jar, and um, as you can tell, like this COVID weight thing going away anytime <laughs> soon. But um, yeah, like I, it, you know, seeing you know what they were doing on the gameplay side and how that bleeds into universe and how it bleeds into my rise. And just to put it out there, you could tell they're actually they're very proud of this product. They they weren't scared because a lot of the criticism was. They weren't showing any gameplay. It kind of gives the community the feeling like, are you scared of what you're going to show? Like, are you, you don't think it's ready? Like, why haven't we seen any full gameplay? But you can tell with this right here, you can tell they're confident. There's nothing, they're not scared. They, they ain't scared at all. They're confident about the product that they have. And that is very good for the consumer. When they're this confident going to do something like this, where they didn't even have to do this. They could just release a small gameplay snippet they didn't have to go out like they did in this, but you could tell they are confident in the product, which I love to see. IGM, my faction, like it, we've done so much um, in the time that we, we, we have, and I, I'm just super excited for everyone to get there. As am I. I am excited for this. Like again, like just practice, practice now, practice your, your thumb strength. You oh, I got that know. down, Pat, don't you worry. <laughs> thumb strength, <right? laughs> Dude, thumb exercises, thumb push-ups. Y'all, so All that, right. again, that wraps it for our first ringside report. Thank you to Jason Vandiver, Derek Donahue, and sure. Jonathan Rivera for joining us. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, looks like that's it. And in the meantime, check us out on social media. Games. Head out the socials. All right, man, there we have it. I think that was actually a great way to show off the gameplay. That's the one thing the community has been asking for. I think they did a fantastic job with that. And just overall explaining the game mechanics, like this is what we've wanted. Gameplay, explain the game mechanics. What does this do? What does that do? What's changed from the previous games? Like I think they did a fantastic job with this. Bravo WWE, Bravo 2K. And honestly, I think a very important thing is, like I mentioned earlier, it just speaks its volumes as far as confidence goes. I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think we saw anything like this leading up to 2K20. So I think this just, they're really confident in the product that they have, as they should be, because it looks amazing so far. And I cannot wait to get my hands on it. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for more 2K22 gameplay deep dives hopefully and news and yeah man i cannot wait to get my hands on this game i'm definitely gonna be bringing this to the channel but that being said i'll catch you guys in the next one take it easy